Jernot Wagner, Climate Shock, The Economic Consequences of a Hotter Planet Embark on a journey to explore the economic consequences of climate change with Jernot Wagner's thought-provoking book, Climate Shock, The Economic Consequences of a Hotter Planet. With climate change being the most pressing issue faced by humanity, this book brings to light its global dimensions, long-term implications, and daunting uncertainties. It delves into pressing scientific questions, extreme weather phenomena, and the complex web of politics and policies related to climate change. Gain a deeper insight into concepts like the greenhouse effect, climate sensitivity, the intricate balance between pollution and the Earth's absorption capacity, and various sustainable solutions for a greener, healthier planet. Confronting Climate Change Climate change presents humanity's greatest challenge, one that will persist for centuries, and its solutions will require policymakers to handle a complex web of stakeholders, while making difficult trade-offs. Economists are often asked to weigh in but must be more thoughtful about the impact of climate change, which doesn't fit easily into past precedents. The consequences will be severe and already we're seeing the effects with more extreme weather, greater storm intensity, and the occurrence of droughts and heat waves. While crucial scientific questions remain unanswered, global action is needed. The Uniqueness of Climate Change Climate change is a global, long-term, irreversible, and uncertain phenomenon that poses a significant challenge to policymakers. Unlike other environmental problems, it requires collective action as individuals don't receive immediate benefits. The effects of climate change will cause temperatures to rise even if humans stop contributing to it today. Conversely, Technological solutions such as geoengineering can address climate change unilaterally without the consensus of other countries. The world has dealt with similar crises before, but the success was mixed. The Montreal Protocol was an optimistic example, whereas the Kyoto Protocol failed to limit greenhouse gas emissions in significant contributors like China and India. The uniqueness of climate change also stems from the fact that it isn't confined to a specific location. It's a global event that will impact every aspect of life, and policymakers must come up with effective policies to address it. Climate change, a catastrophic risk management problem. The human contribution to carbon emissions coupled with Earth's limited capacity to absorb the pollution, has created an imbalance in the atmosphere. The most significant effect of climate change is through an increase in carbon dioxide, which will continuously rise unless carbon production reduces, or the planet's ability to handle pollution increases. The discovery of the greenhouse effect that causes the atmosphere to trap more heat was made in the 19th century, and current estimates show that carbon concentrations are projected to double by the end of the century. Climate change also affects the ocean, which absorbs most carbon dioxide humans produce, increasing acid levels and leading to massive marine life death. Yale economist Bill Nordhauser's Dynamic Integrated Climate Economy DICE, model, the most popular contemporary model for predicting climate change, estimates that a 2 degrees Celsius increase in temperature will cost the GDP approximately 1%, and a 6 degrees Celsius increase will cost 10%. However, these estimates are most likely conservative. Despite these challenges, the authors stress the importance of acting decisively today to combat climate change as it poses a catastrophic risk management problem. Climate Change Solutions The book discusses potential solutions for combating climate change. One idea is called Pigouvian taxes, which would add the cost of carbon's damage to the price of carbon. This would cause people to modify their behavior and use less carbon. Another solution is cap and trade, where a maximum level of emissions is set and people can buy or sell the right to pollute more. Electricity grid reform is also crucial for efficiency and renewable energy sources. Subsidizing solar energy and increasing gasoline taxes can also help lower emissions. The book emphasizes the importance of implementing these solutions before it's too late. Geoengineering's Promising Evidence the 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption is proof of the possibilities of geoengineering. 
The blast released 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, reducing global temperatures by 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Sulfur dioxide is 30,000 times more effective at cooling than carbon dioxide is at warming. While not a solution to global warming, this shows the potential of using sulfur dioxide to counteract its effects by reducing solar radiation. However, this could worsen ozone depletion and trigger droughts and floods in faraway places. Nevertheless, geotechnical engineering still holds promise in addressing the world's environmental concerns. The potential of geoengineering. Geoengineering is the scientific method of making changes to the planet to produce desired results, such as combating climate change. It involves a range of techniques, such as the creation of artificial clouds and ocean fertilization, that can help mitigate the effects of carbon dioxide emissions. While large scale geoengineering has the potential to go wrong, it is worth exploring and testing methods to address the pressing issue of climate change. However, it will require a larger, more functional global government to guide coordinated action. It is important to vote wisely and recycle diligently, but reducing one's own carbon footprint may not be enough to make a significant impact. The challenges of testing geoengineering slowly to address the emotional demands of contemporary culture or the genuine needs of the environment need to be met to ensure that efforts to make it work are successful. Taking collective action against climate change. Acting individually to reverse climate change is a civic duty, but it is not enough. Joining with your fellow citizens to change policies is necessary. To take action, protesting, coping, and profiting might be stages to go through. However, the ultimate goal is to move toward policies that limit carbon emissions, starting with pricing carbon. Recycling, reusing bags, biking to work, and other individual actions are helpful as long as they lead toward the right collective actions. Acknowledging that climate change is real and treating it as a reality is necessary. Checking the flood plain, relocating, and voting against government-supported flood insurance are some examples. Although the cost of dealing with climate change is high, investing in industries that help with flood recovery, divesting from fossil fuels and investing in green energy, and taking advantage of melting ice to invest in the Arctic can create new opportunities. By acting appropriately, we can make a difference and change what it means to be a member of the larger community. As we reach the end of Jernot Wagner's insightful book, Climate Shock, The Economic Consequences of a Hotter Planet, we are now equipped with a clearer understanding of the complexities surrounding climate change and the vital challenges we must tackle. Meticulously examining contributing factors and potential solutions, the book emphasizes the increasing need for responsible human behavior, global cooperation, and supportive policies. From Peguvian taxes to geoengineering technology, it becomes apparent that addressing climate change is a collective responsibility that requires innovation and carefully considered action. Ultimately, it is crucial for individuals and communities alike to push towards a sustainable future, take well-informed decisions, and strive for a better tomorrow.